Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Theory Base of Accounting. Question number 1. According to which accounting principle personal expenses of proprietor are recorded in drawings account? Option A. Prudence. Option B. Money measurement. Option C. Matching. Option D. Business entity concept. The correct answer is Option D. Business entity concept. The entity or unit is derived definitely and distinct from its owners. And we record transactions from the viewpoint of the business. That is why we record capital contributed by the owner in the liability side in the balance sheet and drawings which are personal withdrawals by the owner is deducted from the capital as it is as good as payment is done to the owner. Question number 2. Under which accounting principle quality of manpower is not recorded in the books of accounts? Option A. Accounting entity. Option B. Going concern. Option C. Accounting period. Option D. Money measurement. The correct answer is Option D. Money measurement. According to money measurement principle event or transactions which can be measured in the terms of money with a definite accuracy should be recorded in the books of accounts. Thus quality of labor which cannot be measured cannot be recorded in the books of accounts. Question number 3. Principle which assumes that a business enterprise will not be liquidated in the near future. Option A. Going concern concept. Option B. Accounting entity. Option C. Accounting period. Option D. Prudence. The correct answer is. Option A. Going concern concept. As per going concern concept it is assumed that the business will continue to exist for a long period in the future. The transactions are recorded in the books of the business on the assumption that it is a continuing enterprise, unless otherwise. Question number 4. Which accounting principle requires that life of a business be broken into smaller parts? Option A. Going concern concept. Option B. Accounting entity. Option C. Prudence. Option D. Accounting period. The correct answer is Option D. Accounting period. As the business is intended to continue indefinitely for a long period, the true results of the business operations can be ascertained only when the business is completely wound up. But ascertainment of profit after a very long period will be of little use to the proprietors. The users of financial statements need to know the results of the business at frequent intervals. Thus, the entire life of the firm is divided into time intervals for the measurement of the profits. Question number 5. Under which accounting concept fixed assets are recorded at cost without considering the market price, whether low or high? Option A. Matching concept. Option B. Revenue concept. Option C. Prudence concept. Option D. Historical cost principle. The correct answer is Option D. Historical cost principle. According to historical cost concept, assets are recorded in the books of accounts at the price at which it was acquired. As market value keeps changing and it is very difficult and costly affair to determine the market value of the assets every year. Therefore assets are recorded at cost and not market value whether low or high. Question number 6. Single entry system ignores underscore of accounting. Option A. Revenue concept. Option B. Cost concept. Option C. Matching concept. Option D. Dual aspect. The correct answer is Option D. Dual aspect. 
single entry system of bookkeeping in which, as a rule, only records of cash and of personal accounts are maintained. It is always in complete double entry system. That is why it ignores dual aspect of double entry accounting system. Question number 7. Closing stock is valued at lower of cost or market price. Which concept of accounting is applied here? Option A. Matching concept. Option B. Prudence. Option C. Cost concept. Option D. Revenue concept. The correct answer is Option B. Prudence. According to Prudence when there are different alternatives for recording a transaction, the one having least favorable immediate effect on profits or capital should be adopted. Thus we record closing stock at cost price or market price whichever is lower. As we have to make provision for all anticipated losses but not record anticipated profits. Question number 8. According to business entity concept. Option A. Transactions between the business and its owner are recorded from the business point of view. Option B. Transactions between the business and its owner are not recorded. Option C. Transactions between the business and its owner are recorded considering its single entity. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. Transactions between the business and its owner are recorded from the business point of view. The proprietor is treated as a creditor of the business to the extent of the capital invested by him in the business. Thus we record the transactions between the business and its owner from the point of view of business that is capital is treated as liability of the business and any personal withdrawals are treated as withdrawal of capital or as good as payment is made to the owner. Question number 9 full form of gap option a journal accepted accounting principles option b generally accepted accounting prudence option c generally accepted accounting principles option d generally accounting accepted principles the correct answer is option c Generally accepted accounting principles over a period of time, a number of generally accepted accounting principles (GAAP) in the form of concepts and conventions have been developed and accepted to bring comparability and uniformity in the financial statements of various business entities. Question number ten: Salary to manager will be recorded in the books of accounts, but appointment of manager is not recorded due to underscore. Option A. Money measurement. Option B. Accounting period. Option C. Full disclosure. Option D. Business entity. The correct answer is Option A. Money measurement. Only those transactions and events are recorded in the accounting which are capable of being expressed in terms of money. An event even though it may be very important for the business, will not be recorded in the books of the business unless its effect can be measured in terms of money with a fair degree of accuracy. Thus appointment of manager though important will not be recorded in the books of accounts as it cannot be measured in terms of money. Question number 11. Do not anticipate any profit but provide for all possible losses according to the underscore. Option A. Full disclosure. Option B. Business entity. Option C. Prudence concept. Option D. Accounting period. The correct answer is. Option C. Prudence concept. According to Prudence concept, all anticipated losses should be recorded in the books of accounts, but all anticipated or unrealized gains should be ignored. In other words it is the policy of playing safe. Provision is made for all known liabilities and losses even though the amount cannot be determined with certainty. Question number 12. The fact that a business is separate and distinguishable from its owner is best exemplified by the underscore concept. Option A. 
dual aspect concept option b prudence option c cost concept option d business entity concept the correct answer is option d business entity concept according to this concept business is treated as a unit separate and distinct from its owners creditors managers and others in other words the owner of a business is always considered as distinct and separate from the business he owns business unit should have a completely separate set of books and we have to record business transactions from firm's point of view and not from the point of view of the proprietor question number 13 full form of iasb option a indian accounting standard board option b international accounting standard board option c international accepted standard board option d international accounting statements board the correct answer is option b international accounting standard board the ifrs refers to the international financial reporting standards which are issued by ias by international accounting standard board question number 14 everything a firm owns it also owns out to somebody this coincidence is explained by the underscore concept option a consistency option b dual aspect concept option c prudence option d cost concept the correct answer is option b dual aspect concept dual aspect concept states that every business transaction is recorded as having a dual aspect thus everything firm owns i e assets of the firm will also be owed out to somebody that may be liabilities and capital thus assets equals capital plus liabilities question number 15 The underscore assumption of accounting states that if straight line method of depreciation is followed in one accounting year then it should be continued in the next year also option a cost concept option b consistency option c dual aspect concept option d prudence the correct answer is option b consistency consistency concept states that accounting principles and methods should remain consistent from one year to another these should not change from year to year in order to enable the management to compare the profit and loss account and balance sheet of different periods and draw important conclusion about working of the enterprise thus straight line method used in one year should be followed next year also Question number 16 12 television sets of 10000 rupees each are purchased and this event is recorded in the books with a total amount of 120000 rupees is an example of option a prudence option b money measurement concept option c cost concept option d dual aspect concept The correct answer is option B money measurement concept because in money measurement concept you will only record the transaction in only money form not in quantity form question number 17 which of the following is correct option A owners equity claims of outside equals assets option B owners equity plus claims of outside equals assets option C owners equity equals claims of outsides plus assets option d owners equity claims of outside equals assets the correct answer is option b owners equity plus claims of outside equals assets question number 18 According to Companies Act 1956 all companies are required to maintain their accounts according to option A accrual basis option B money basis option C 
कैश बेसिस ऑप्शन डी नन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए अक्रूअल बेसिस अक्रूअल बेसिस इज अ मेथड ऑफ रिकॉर्डिंग अकाउंटिंग ट्रांजेक्शन फॉर रेवेन्यू वेन अर्न एन एक्सपेंसिस वेन इनकर डॉट ए की एडवांटेज ऑफ द अक्रूअल बेसिस इज दैट इट मैच इज रेवेन्यूज विद रिलेटेड एक्सपेंसिस सो दैट द कंप्लीट इम्पैक्ट ऑफ अ बिजनेस ट्रांजेक्शन कैन बी सीन विद इन अ सिंगल रिपोर्टिंग पीरियड क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन एज पर द बिजनेस एंटिटी असम्पन द बिजनेस इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द ऑप्शन ए बैंकर ऑप्शन बी प्रोप्राइटर ऑप्शन सी गवर्नमेंट ऑप्शन डी पॉलिटिक्स द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी प्रोप्राइटर बिजनेस एंटिटी असम्पन समटाइम्स रेफर टू एज सेपरेट एंटिटी असम्पन और द इकोनॉमिक एंटिटी कॉन्सेप्ट is an accounting principle that states that the financial records of any business must be kept separate from those of its owners or any other business question number 20 which statements are drawn to provide information about growth or decline of business activities over a period of time or comparison of the results that is intra firm or inter firm comparisons option a cost statements option b management statements option c financial statements option d all of these the correct answer is option c financial statements financial statements are reports prepared by a company's management to present the financial performance and position at a point in time A general purpose set of financial statements usually includes a balance sheet, income statements, statement of owner's equity, and statement of cash flows. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.